All right, guys, we just spent $1,400 on 25 gallons of Sherwin-Williams best quality exterior latex paint. Jordan, Rad, and I are gonna attempt to paint the entire exterior building by ourselves because this job is all about saving money. Let's jump into it. So guys, in this video, we're gonna take you step by step, show you every detail that we do to put an awesome paint job on this building because it's all about saving Jordan money. We can save him five or $6,000 just by doing it ourselves. And just like every painting job we've ever done, it all starts with a good prep job. And fortunately for us, there's not a lot of prep to do on the building. We already caulked everything with Big Stretch as we were siding. There's no nails to set. There's no sanding to be done. And we got a lot of comments about how we should pressure wash the building. But honestly, guys, this stuff just came off the, out of the factory and it's perfectly clean. So we're not even gonna worry about that. The only thing we gotta do, tape off some windows and we can start painting. But first we wanna thank AG1 for sponsoring today's video. Guys, AG1 lays the groundwork for aging well. How does it do that? It builds on a foundation of better mental and physical health. And this is so simple and easy to commit to day in and day out. One little scoop in the morning, shake it up, and you're good to go all day long. Not only do I love the taste, I love the way that AG1 focuses on my entire body instead of just one part of my body. It's good for my brain, it's good for my gut, and it's good for my health. And as you know guys, building a house isn't easy, but knowing we got AG1 behind us, looking out for our foundational nutrition, that's really awesome. We can focus on the project, knowing our body's gonna be able to keep up with the hard work. So head on over to drinkag1.com slash studpack or scan the QR code and get started with your free welcome kit. That includes an awesome canister to put on your counter, this shaker, a year's supply of vitamin D3 plus K2, and five free travel packs for when you're on the road. Thanks to AG1 for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to painting. All right, guys, let's start taping. Our first instinct was to get some plain old blue painter's tape and stick it in this little gap we left between the casing and the window and just feed it in there like that and tape up the window. But that's kind of a pain to get the, uh, the tape in there. It's a real pain. And then to get it out after is gonna be even more of a pain. We've all been there trying to get tape out of a gap like that. Imagine if that was all the way down, it would be really hard. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it on the casing. We're not gonna do it like that. We're actually gonna bring our tape down to the bottom edge, right at the corner. And that's because if we put it here, when Jordan comes in with the sprayer and sprays on two coats of the color on the siding, this is a different color. We might get a little bit of a line right there after we pull the tape off. And we don't want a line there because then that line is gonna telegraph through our finish color on the casing. So we're actually gonna put this tape right there on the edge, the buildups on the corner, you'll never see it. And we're using this red stucco tape. It was kind of an impulse buy at the paint store. It's by Sure Tape. This stuff is working great. It, it sticks well and it comes off just as easy, but it's sticking enough that it's not gonna fight us the whole time. In fact, we already have two windows done what we're doing, we're putting the tape on the bottom, letting the top half flap over, sticking our plastic to it, and then we're gonna work our way to the top. Kind of opposite, but our boards are right here. We didn't wanna have to haul the boards up and bring them back down and work our way down, taping the windows. So Rad and I are gonna do this one, move the boards up, get these windows taped off. <laughs> Guys, lots of love about the scaffolding in the comments. One more thing I love about the scaffolding, automatic tape holder. All right guys, prep's all done, and really that was the quickest prep we've ever done. About 20 minutes to prep those three windows, mask them off, put the plastic up, ready to go. And Jordan, I gotta tell you, I'm feeling kind of weird right now. I don't know how to explain it, because a year ago, we were manning the handles on an excavator, digging the foundation, and here we are today, a year later, we're manning the handles of painting equipment, about to put a coat of paint on your garage. How, how are you feeling? Pretty good. Yeah. All those renderings, um, the vision. It's, it's about all to come about to life. it's all about to come to life. Yeah. And just three guys, one year, kind of long, but our first time ever. Yeah. I say we pour some paint in our cut-in buckets, stop talking, climb up the scaffold, start throwing some paint on your new garage. Guys, up here on the scaffold, ready to start painting. Now let's talk a little bit about what 
two different products we have on our building. We have our AZAC PVC trim for our fascia, but everything else is hardy. We're actually gonna start right here with the fascia. So how do we paint that AZAC trim? Well, we checked it out on their website and they said you can paint this immediately with a high quality paint. And that's what we have. We have Sherwin-Williams Emerald paint. It's gonna stick very well. Two coats though, right? You gotta put two coats. The first one acts as a primer and the second one is your top coat. The only thing we gotta do is clean this with some denatured alcohol. I got a rag and some DA right here. It's gonna go really quick and it dries almost instantly. Let me get down here in this corner, bud. Now I know we're gonna get a ton of comments about how you guys would do it different. But remember, we checked out all this online and we also just went to the International Builder Show. And a really cool thing about going to shows like that, you get to see the companies, you get to see their products, you get to meet the engineers and see all the testing that goes in behind these products. So if AZEC says all you need is to wipe it down and you're ready for two top coats, that's what we're gonna do. All right guys, quick run through of our cut-in setup. I like working out of a cut-in bucket. I used to use the little metal ones, can't get them anymore, so I got the plastic one. I put my four fingers on my left hand underneath, I hook the handle with my left, and that's how I paint. Got my brush in my right hand, I'm using a Wooster right here, love Wooster or Purdy. And then I can just dip. I don't have too much paint in there, so it hits the bottom. I know I'm not all over the bristles. And then for me, it's just a tap, tap, and I'm ready to go. I put a nail in it, and I bend the nail right above the ferrule. Ferrule is this metal part. Then when I'm done painting, I can just hook it on the edge, and my bristles aren't sitting in the paint. Here we go, man. It's like, I can't believe we're actually painting this go thing. Go time. It's go time. I wonder how much different the white color, you know, it's white, is going to look against this white. What's this called? Pure white. This no, is paper white. Paper white. Yeah. We're about to find out. Oh, this is paper? It is creamy. <laughs> it's already dry. Yeah. This wind, huh? Perfect day to paint. Little breeze. What is it, Jordan? About 65 degrees. Yep. Sunny. And look at this. Stuff's already dry to the touch. We might be able to get two coats on here today, bud. That'd be sweet. Re Recoat cool. is typically four hours. Yep. But that was 15 minutes and it's perfectly dry. So yep. All let's right, do let two keep coats. going. Yeah. Get the space finished. All right guys, space is all done. We are ready to put some paint on the building. And a quick fact about Jordan, you may not know, he loves to paint. Well, he loves to paint with the airless. A brush and roller, not so much. No, I like to roll. You do like to roll yeah. with that big guy, right? Yeah. So we're gonna let him use the airless and let's go through this machine real quick. We bought this five years ago for 400 bucks on our very first YouTube project. And it's been kicking ever since. I always kind of thought we would upgrade, but really haven't needed to. Maybe one day in the future, but this little Graco Magnum X7 does the job for us. A couple things I want to show you real quick. Bought a new hose when we bought all the paint this morning. Got a 50 footer. Hose management's key when you're painting and doing a lot of other things with hoses. We don't want to get Jordan tripped up. We don't want to have to keep moving this. So a 50 foot hose, I never have to move this when he's painting this side. Got a clean filter in here. If you watched our previous videos, you know that I kind of neglected this filter, didn't know about it for a while. And part of the reason was I never had the tools with me to access that filter. Quick pro tip for you, here's what I did. Got one of these zipper bags, comes with a carabiner. I got a set of them actually, different colors. And in this zipper bag, I have everything I need. First thing I did, I got three cheap wrenches off of eBay, about like six, seven dollars each. And with those three wrenches, I can do anything I need to with this machine. Well worth the investment. And the machine is always clean because I have the tools I need. Also have a wire brush to clean the tips after I'm done. Got everything else in here, spare tips, the fitting to clean it, spare guard. Well worth it for a little zipper bag, keep everything on board. Jordan? You ready to start painting? I'm been ready. I know you have. Let's get some paint on this, buddy. I am so excited right now. Dude, I think I got this. Oh yeah, you got that. I can't miss. I can't miss. I don't, you know, it's the perfect painting day. I'm just, I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get up there. <laughs> I'm so excited. Get up there, bro. I mean, I, I just can't believe it. Guys are ready to go. Jordan's really upped his game. Totally trust him on the airless. The neighbors have moved their car just in case. Here we go. Three. That's a 
I think I need to go up there and be the shields guy. Yeah. What do you think, Brad? <laughs> that, that looks a little it's tough. tough. It's, it's a tough angle. Yeah. Guys, check it out, it looks so awesome. One coat of paint, what's the color called? It's paper white. It looks perfect, it's not too bright, a little creamy, Jordan did a great job picking it out, but we're already learning a couple of things. Number one, even with the shield over by the drip edge, the vortex is kind of spinning that paint around and it's getting on the drip edge. That's why when you drive by a construction site, they paint it before the roofers go on. Definitely gonna do that on the main house but it cleans off real easy because that metal's really slick. Just a little extra work on our part, but it'll be all right. Yeah, no problem. The other thing we're learning is a few nail holes are showing. Now, not from back here, but when you're a little closer, you can see the nail holes from the trim. I guess the depth setting wasn't dialed in perfect. It's not perfect and consistent all the time anyway, so I think what we're gonna do, we're each gonna get a tube of Big Stretch. We're gonna hit those nail holes and a couple places where we need some more caulk, put a second coat on, let's go. All right, guys, remember we told you the vortex of the paint was getting on the drip edge, even with the shield? You can kind of see it right here. I cleaned it already here, but you can really tell a difference. So definitely on the main house, learned our lesson, but no big deal. Got a little acetone on this rag right here. Takes it right off, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Lemon squeezy. And the flashing looks just like new. Check it out. Yep. All right, guys, it's the second day. We're gonna put on the second coat of paint. First coat looks great. Second coat is gonna make it pop. Now, let me get over here behind Jordan. On this Azek fascia, we actually came back with a brush and put a coat right here because it's kind of porous on that edge. It must have been the edge we cut on our saw. Gave a second coat on here, put blue tape on our drip edge. And last night, we filled all these nail holes. That's using clear big stretch. We're gonna show you what it looks like right now. And then we're gonna show you what it looks like after. But those are gonna disappear once Jordan puts on the second coat. You're all suited up, bud. You ready? Ready. Let's go. All right guys, second coat is all done and it looks fantastic. It looks good on camera, but it looks amazing in person. And two coats, you gotta do it guys. Don't try to skimp and do one coat. That first coat is more like a primer and that second coat is your finished coat. It makes a big difference, especially on the bands and the corner boards. We can really tell how well it's covering. And it's drying really fast, but not fast enough to outfool mother nature. It is a spring day, the wind is blowing. We got this big water oak here and it's blowing all those little pods into our paint. Honestly, gang, we're just gonna leave them and we're gonna brush them off when we get up there and take down the plastic. Speaking of that plastic, we really wanted to pull it off right away because we wanna see those windows pop against our new paint. But remember I said it's a windy day? The worst thing that could happen to us right now, we start pulling that plastic off, the wind grabs it, throws it against the wet paint, and then you're gonna see the explosion 
from Jordan's head wherever you are. So we're gonna let that dry a little bit, <laughs> pull the plastic off later. It won't take long, but in the meantime, we gotta hit those battens a little bit. We had a couple crack. Do you remember in our batten video, we showed you that they cracked? We're gonna actually replace this one. And then I'm gonna hop in here, Jordan, and then we're gonna get our big stretch and we're gonna caulk here and here all the way around the building. So while that's drying, we're gonna grab our tools, get this done, let's hop to it. All right, Jordan says he's ready when I am, but you just have I'm to not ready. You just have to bust it off. I have to break yeah, it off like you just this, have to right? Break it off, yeah. All right. I don't want to hurt your. I don't want to hit that. Let me start down here. There we go. That'll work. Yep. Now we got a system. Yeah. Now let's see if I can pull these ring shank nails. It's actually not as hard as you think. There you go. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nice. All right, I was worried for nothing like usual. <laughs> Our batten's all ready to go, caulked them all. Now it's time to reveal the big window. This paint is dry, dry enough, right? You ready, Rad? Here's the big reveal. Let's pull this piece of blue tape off first at the top. There we go. Why'd you put that piece of blue tape up? <laughs> you made me do it because you didn't want to see paint on the top of our black uh, flashing in a drone shot. That's the only reason. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I'm too close to it. What do you think? It's pretty cool. We pretty... gotta get that hardy painted. This? With yeah. it black? Yeah. Well, I had this color match. We're ready to go. Cool. We gotta right. caulk these. All right, guys, about to paint these windows. This paint is exactly the color match for this window trim. If you missed it in a previous video, dad said that he took a piece from the inside that was removable, took it to the paint store. They scanned it and gave us this. It looks almost purpley blue, like a midnight color. But when it dries, it's super black. As you can see behind me, I already finished one because I wanted to get my technique down before I got up on a good old camera. This stuff is so thick. This is some of the thickest paint I've ever seen. I don't know what that means. I hope it means that it's good quality. So I got the roller and the brush. Got to roll the three sides, bottom two sides, and then brush the top because that's uh, pretty hard to get the roller in there, but we're loading this thing on nice and thick. Definitely gonna need two, maybe even three coats for this stuff, but it's working pretty good. And this is paint matched exactly this color. So when it dries, even if I get it on the window, not too worried about it. Yeah, wow, look how blue that looks. It's so blue, compare the two, it's crazy. But that's what it looks like dry. Wow. Pretty nuts. And then we just went downstairs and checked it out. That's crazy. Yeah, we just went downstairs and checked it out and man, it just looks, so epic. I can't wait until these are all done. So I'm just taking my time. Are we gonna show them the windows, dude? Yeah. You don't wanna hold off? There it is, guys. That's the dream, that's the reality. The windows look amazing against that color on the siding. Now, we are gonna have a few accessories up there, but that's pretty much it. We're kinda of holding out on the color on the bottom down by the garage. It's gonna be a different color. It's gonna look crazy. But there is one more detail to do up on the windows. We have the gap between the casing and the window, and we're gonna fill that gap with color match caulk by Sashko. Good friends over there sent us a whole case of it. Let's show you how it works. All right, here's our exact color sealant. It comes in this package. It's got everything you need. What do you need? You need a syringe for your paint. You've got the thickener. It gives you a cap and a blue tip. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna cut off this end. But let me shake it for you first. Is that coming across? It's pretty thin in there. And there's room for the paint and there's room for the thickener. So we're gonna cut that off, add everything, put this on, shake it up. It's gotta cook for half an hour and it's gonna thicken just like the caulk that we're all used to. This is some thick paint, dude. I hope it goes in this syringe and we need 30 milliliters way up there. Oh, nice. Paging Dr. Paul, paging Dr. Paul. That's it. <laughs> Put the paint in, shake for a minute. Here, Ad, you do it. <laughs> I 
And look at that, you can see the color through the tube, it's translucent. So if you gotta save it, you know what color you mixed up already, right? I think it's clear. Some pretty crazy science, right? So interesting to me. All right, everybody's in the pool. Shake for another minute. All right, guys, all ready? It's been half an hour. Now I'm gonna try something different. I always pull like this when I caulk. We get a lot of comments that you should push. So I cut the tip of the square. I'm gonna give it a shot. I've tried that before. It's a whole different technique to me, but uh, let's give this a shot, Jordan. Or, you know what? You should do it because you're actually wearing the exact color t-shirt. Now I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> the, nice, the nice thing I like about pushing is you can actually see it like going into that gap right there. So you know you're getting a good bead of caulk in there. It's actually not too bad. I can see behind me and, oh, now I'm making a mess. All right. You had it and then I you lost it. it. Yeah. Yep. Perfect right here, that's what you want. It's definitely a technique. This is probably the worst position to be in though, right? Overhead, this is in the way. Right. I'm but just making excuses for myself. You have to tool it both ways regardless, right. so yeah. All right, guys, we're up here on the side of the house getting ready to start. It's almost 6 p.m., but that's the beauty of daylight savings. You knew this was coming. Love it. You Love knew it. this was coming. I was prepared. Yeah. <laughs> so we're starting this, and we've got the plastic tucked on the fascia and then up on top of the roof because overspray is getting on our roof. We're not going to cry about it. It's the price that we have to pay for doing things out of order on this build. We're learning for the main build. <laughs> dude, what are you doing? So we got the plastic up there. We were going to let it go onto the roof, but then I thought, dude, Rad's always surfing. Let's get pitted and just pull it over me and act it, act as a, a massive tent, essentially. So that's what we're going to do, and hopefully it works. Right. And then... But after we're paint, after it's painted, we can't let it go. It might stick to this. So we got to pull the whole thing off and then put a new one on. All right. Yep. All right. It was really easy to put that up. So, all right, here we go. <sighs> And we switched to a 212 tip instead of a, what, 512? Dad? Ah. We switched tips. Right? It's what? We switched tips. It's a 212, yeah. Yes. Here we go. I'm, I'm totally just going to spray you. Oh, man. Here. No okay. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay, that's sick. That yeah. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna walk backwards. So just yell at me if I'm about to hit you or something.
All right, guys, we don't want the overspray to go that way around the corner and get on our windows, even though we could clean it, but you know, <laughs> we're not doing that. Oh. oh, that's pretty good. Okay. Are right, you ready, brother? Yep. You want to go like that? Yeah, that's all we can do. Okay, just stay right there. Wind's on your side, too. Cool. All right, guys, we've got two coats of paper white on the second story on these two sides, and we also got that black color match for our fiberglass windows. We actually uh, rolled and brushed the front ones, but over on the side, we just brushed them. The brush is a little easier to control, and it uh, looks great, Jordan. looks great from out here at the street, especially when you turn the corner. looks awesome. I can't wait to get that third color on the bottom. Now, the building looks great, but is it perfect? No, it is not perfect. Jordan gave me an analogy about a red pill and a blue pill. You gotta take only one, you gotta make a decision. So the red pill would be like we hired a painter, spent thousands of thousands of dollars, they got all the right equipment, all the experience, all the knowledge, all the right products, and they finish the paint job and it's nearly perfect. And then the blue pill, the DIY pill, the one that we chose, it comes with taking a lot of time to put the paint on the building, not having the right ladders, not having the right equipment, Maybe making a few mistakes and missing a few spots. Jordan felt like he missed a few spots on that second coat. I did, 100%. Honestly, from the street, once it's dry, you can't even tell. You're the only one who's gonna know that. Are you okay with that? I guess. You guess. I guess. Well, once we get the blue on there, oh, am I not supposed to say that? It's gonna look great. So from renderings to reality, we got half of the top half covered in a coat of the paper white. Looks awesome. And I feel like, Jordan, we really made huge progress recently. We had all that zip on there, and very quickly, we got it covered with the hardy, and just as quickly, we're covering that up with the paint. So guys, grab yourself a sprayer, spray your like button, smash it for us, the best thing you can do for us. If you're looking for some merch, getting warm, head on over to bunkerbranding.com, check it out, get you some sort, get you some short sleeve stud pack merch. Please subscribe, ask a question, drop a comment, We'll see you right back here when we keep painting the Stud Pack Dream Garage.